You might be wondering, what if there is an incident in an organization? How it's gonna get handled? Let me help you out with it. Hi, this is Sayam and today we'll discuss about incident response. Incident response is for identifying, managing and mitigating the incidents. As the name suggests, whenever there is an incident, we have to perform some response against it so that we can cut it down or you know eradicate it. Similarly happens with your incident response. Let's take an example. Uh, when you talk about your home, okay? In your home, we have already prepared. We are already prepared that whenever you're going to sleep, we already lock your door, right? First is identification. In this entire scenario, the first phase is identification. There are certain phases which are involved. First is the identification. In that, you know, you got an identification that, okay, some unusual activities are happening at your home. That is an identification since you have locked the door. That is, you have identified some malicious activity. Second is, you perform containment over there. You lock the door so that those thieves will not go out. And meanwhile, you also call the cops. Once the cops arrive, we perform investigation over there. We collect the fingerprints or any other proof left by them. Right, in case if those attackers has gone, if those thieves have gone out. Of. Then we have eradication. Eradication means if you have any broken lock, we replace it with the proper ones. Then we have recovery. Recovery will make sure everything is in place as they were before. And further is your lesson learned. It's like reviewing everything. Like, okay, if you need to change anything, we'll do that. If new proper doors are need to be launched, will need to be placed, we'll place those new doors. That is in the normal scenario. When you talk about organization perspective, there are certain phases. First is preparation. Second is your detection analysis. Third is your containment. Fourth is your eradication. Fifth is your recovery and six is your lesson learned when i'm talking about preparation preparation is like i'm making sure everything is aligned in the very first place to thwart the attacks to not let the attack happens on the very first place right and in case if attack happens we have everything aligned in place in order to handle that incident or that attack second is a detection analysis we'll detect it and we'll make sure that this is an attack it's really an incident in which we have to further perform further operation and we have to cut it down third is your containment containment is just like isolation when that corona happened what happened like the person who got covid they were said uh, they were put in or they were placed in the isolation ward so that that corona won't spread out and affect others similarly is with your incident response we perform containment over there so let's suppose if this one system got infected with the malware we put in a containment containment environment cut it out from the network so that it won't spread out and affect others then we have eradication eradication means if that malware is present in that system we'll remove it we'll cut it cut it down we'll eradicate it you know we'll use some patches over there then we have recovery recovery will be using backups so if any data has been lost we'll use the backups to put that data back into the systems so that it can perform its normal business operations and the final one is a lesson learned it's a last step it's like we have we are learning here from the uh, that entire incident which has happened we are learning where we fell short what we did wrong and if new changes are required we'll perform those changes so these are certain important phases of incident response which every uh, security person should know about that would be it thank you